we're trying to integrate e to the power of 2x. So we know that the integration of e to the power of 2x is going to be e to the power of 2x multiplied by 1 over 2. So mentally, we can do a quick check because if you we were to differentiate this, we get e to the power of 2x and the multiplication of the of the differentiation of 2x using the chain rule. So these would cancel out. This would become 2, which would cancel out with this one. Okay, so this is going to be 1 half e to the power of 2 ln k minus 1 half e to the power of 0. This is going to be 1. Then we're going to have 1 half e to the power of ln k squared, if you remember your properties of logarithms and exponents, minus 1 over 2. Also, we know if we have e to the power of ln a, this is just going to be a. Again, this is a property of exponentials, so you can review it if you're not comfortable using this. Um, this is going to be 1 half k squared minus 1 half. And we're told that this equals 12. So 1 half k squared minus 1 half equals 12. So k squared minus 1 equals 24. k squared equals 25. And k, we would usually say it's k equals plus minus 5. But in this case, we only have k equals 5. Because if k were to be negative 5, we'd have ln of minus 5 wouldn't work. It wouldn't exist. So the answer is k equals 5.